Basically, divided into four sections. Each section gets two twists with the handle on it. Put the um, plastic sack over my head. It stays on all day, so until the sun comes down, that's when I'll wash, condition it, retwist it for you guys, and you guys will see the final product. Now, right now it's about 8.30 a.m., so it's going to be on there for about 14 hours. Let's watch. Four sections. I'm gonna get back here so y'all see the head. I mean, it's just not a good camera, but oh well. Four lovely sections. Well, we start with just half up, half down right now. And down is gonna have eight sections, and up is gonna have eight sections. But for right now, we're not focused on that. We're just focused on, you know, just doing what we can. <sighs> but the last time spent, because it can be time consuming, depending on how you apply it to your hair. But the way I apply it, it's not too time consuming. So, these are two sections. Each of them divided into two and twisted. So it shouldn't be an issue. Divide this one into two. Pulling each section out individually. So this, I will be putting the head on. I'm just finger detangling. This brush. I'm probably not even going to use the brush until I wash the hair. Once I wash the hair, wash it all out, then I'll brush. But if I brush before, a lot of the hair is going to get ripped out. And be ball hit if I'm just going to waste an half on the henna on the brush. So, that's so why I don't do it like that. I just do it like this. Put the hand on. Kind of just finger it through. And twist it up afterwards. So, let's see. Put this one right here. So, she be issues. I mean, put this on here. Let's see. Put a little more juice on here. So now, like I said, you just take the hairs, because this is how much hair came out just from that one eighth of my hair. It's not much, but of course, you do want to get some dead hair coming off, because you don't want your hair to be full of dead hair. So I mean, if it's shedding, it's growing, and it's reproducing good cells, you don't have to really get surprised or scared about shedding this. The only thing you do want to get surprised and scared about is if it's a lot of shedness in the shower. You want your shedness to be early before your hair is wet because when it's wet, it should be at its strongest. You should be able to, you know, pull it to the longest that it is, brush it, you know, braid it, everything. When it's dry, it's a little bit harder to do. A lot of people don't know that, but that's just my hair, at least on how mine is. So let's come close and watch how I twist this up. I mean, it is saturated. It's not going to be just like a dripping saturated, like as if I dyed it or bleached it or even relaxed it. It should just be, you know, it's there. I know it's on all the hair, almost like a lotion. You know it's on all of it, but you don't have to be dripping up. So it's good. The next section for this part. I'll probably do two sections of the back and two sections of the front, combine the videos together. Just because we still have some video from tonight that we have to see also, and we don't want to make the video too long. I mean, my phone, it holds good storage, but we got some 
issues going on sometimes with the applications, my video editing applications. If the video is too long, it won't even save the video to my phone. And I say, hey, what is the deal with this? So, that's the reasons why I gotta just cut y'all short sometimes and edit it up. Plus, I like to put my own pictures, maybe music, maybe. So, I might put some music on this one. I just gotta make the voice a little louder than the music. And just edit it and make it nice for y'all. Because it's been a while since I made a hair video. I've been making my chef videos lately. The chef ones. I know y'all enjoy them. If y'all don't, it's on y'all. So, let's see. I might make some music videos if I learn how to be a rapper. But for now, this is what y'all get. This is what y'all enjoy. This is what y'all need to be clapping your hands to. So a little bit of hair again. And usually if you use henna, you're supposed to wear gloves because it is a dye. And it is going to dye your hands. It doesn't really dye your hair unless you have like a light color in your hair. But it just gives it a strongness. A strongness to your hair. More of like a conditioning. Not, I mean, yeah, conditioning. It doesn't dry it out like when y'all put that... Indian mask, like the mask that can go on the face and the hair, when y'all put that inside your hair, y'all have to know that it's drying it out. I'm not sure if that somebody told y'all that's good for y'all hair, but in my opinion, I don't think you should put that stuff in your hair. It's good for face mask for like if you have really oily skin, and then even then you only should do it like once a week. That's how much it dries out. Because you see it becomes like a hard mask on your face. And you wash it and your face is like super soft. Because it has like no oils in it. It's just straight like skin. You never should put something like that on your hair. So when you girls do that, just know I warned you. But anyways, this is nothing like that. It doesn't ever take that much dryness to your hair. But I mean it does take out some of the extra oils that might be in the hair. Or maybe even the extra dirt. So I mean... After you do it, it's good to, you know, moisturize really good. Wash it up really good. Make sure you get it all out your hair because it is like a dirt. So wash it up. Get it all out your hair. Maybe wash your hair two to three times. Then condition it two to three times. Condition it. Wash your body. Rinse it out. Condition it again. You can leave that condition in. Then that's when you can add your other conditioners or your other products that you use in your hair. You don't have to do this for every washing machine treatment. But at least when you put extra stuff in your hair that's, you know, healing or something to your hair, you do want to kind of leave the conditioner that they have that comes with the shampoo. So that is kind of good for your hair. After that, like I said, yeah. So this is going to be it for the bottom. I'll put it back one on the top so we can still watch a little. Okay, we're down to the last two twists. Let's get it popping and walking and dropping. Let me shuffle a couple, let me shuffle a couple more. I wonder if you guys can see me that well. Or maybe she just did here. Yeah, some better footage for y'all. No, I'm not in the way of the camera. Yeah, if I was this whole time, I apologize. I'm still gonna upload it, but for the twist out part, it'll be better. And I won't be in front of the camera as much. I'll be to the side and all. So you guys will be able to see. If you want, I'll put it on this side. So it can be a little bit better and fresher for everyone. That's what I yeah. So that way, you know, it'll be a little easier for everyone to see and enjoy. Yep, yep, yep. I can go to video school if you guys need me to record y'all's videos. I'm just saying. Every video I make, you always see me adjusting the camera and enjoying videotaping. So I can be a photographer. Photographer slash video maker. Yeah. I have very many hobbies. You just gotta bring them out of me and give me an incentive to do them. And they'll be ready for you. They will. So... This in right here, and all over, and right here, and right over, and then, and then 
to twist. Twist, 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 twist. Well, like I said, you know, once it's time to wash the hair, you'll see the hair washed. And then also, you'll see before I wash the hair, the picture, picture of after the hair is washed and conditioned. Couple pictures of me actually brushing and twisting. Then you'll see the final twist out with me smiling. And of course, I'll probably keep my hair twisted for a couple days. So that'll probably be the end of the video. So, you know, that's just the way I live my life. I mean, I like to wear my hair out. Don't get me wrong, guys. It's just, I don't have very many places to go. So just to be in the house with your hair all over your face, sweating and oiling all over you for no apparent reason, nah, I'm not up to it. I'd rather have the twist. That way it's locked and loaded. It's healing and growing and moisturizing amongst itself. And still, it's presentable if I do have to go out, you know, just throw the little headband over it or, you know, the scarf or, you know, even a little ponytail holder. And, you know, it'll still be cute because the twists are cute. Now when the twists are getting old and it's almost time to, you know, for they're starting to fall off, you know, untwist by themselves, then I'll just take them out of the twist, wear the twist out look, of course. But while I'm in the house, I usually like to have my hair either in a ponytail or twist out. And the twist out is the more healthiest and the cutest to style when I go out. So that's the reason why I always have the twist. And I always can put it in a ponytail, put the weave ponytail on top, or, you know, just have fun with it in the ponytail. But, I don't know. I think I might just stick to this for now, the twist. If not, I might just put it in the ponytail after I wash it today. Depends on how lazy I am also. If I'm super lazy and just tired and just don't feel like it, you'll see me put it in a ponytail instead of in the twist. But if I actually feel like twisting it up, then I'll twist it up and keep it healthy. Or I might just put it in two braids. Two braids or like a braid around the front or something, you know, ponytail on the back. And so that way, like I said, it's still cute to go out, but in the house it's braided in the front in case I want to put a bandana over the back of it. I mean, there's so many options to do here. You just gotta explore them. So now that the henna is fully saturated on the whole head, you take your plastic headband and you put it over the whole thing. But my mom, she hasn't handed it to me yet. So... I gotta go back for it at our door. After I put that over my head, and if you don't have a plastic shower cap to put over your head, you always can just use a Walmart stack. So I think I'm gonna start with the Walmart stack today and just have the Walmart stack on there and just forget about the other one for today. She might be running low on them. I don't wanna overdo it. <coughs> so, wash my hands, put the sack over my head, and then of course, Wash up this little counter. That's all. I'll see you the rest later. Get out of here.